Hey guys, welcome to Modern Life for the 70s Mind and Bob's Cabinet of Curiosities. If you've been to my channel before, thank you very much for coming back. I appreciate you checking me out. If by chance you're new and you haven't seen any of my videos, please click the subscribe button below and also click the notification icon. That way you'll be notified anytime I put out some new content and you'll be up to date on everything that we do here at Modern Life for the 70s Mind. Um, if you're not familiar with the Cabinet of Curiosities, we take a look back on older things that some people don't even know anything about. Or if you're old as dirt like me, you'll remember them, but maybe just haven't thought about them for a while. So today we are going to be talking about something that I think is kind of fun. We all know about vinyl records and the old 78 shellac records, but have you ever heard of cardboard records I have <laughs> um, starting in the I want to say it's the 50s uh, Wheaties started putting out yes the cereal Wheaties started putting out records on the back of their cereal boxes and then I want to say sometimes in the sometime in the late 60s early 70s post cereals started doing the same um, as a young kid that was awesome. I remember going down the cereal aisle in the stores and turning all the boxes around and seeing what song, what records were on the back of the boxes because that was like a free record. Plus, you get cereal. It's the best. Um, the cardboard back records were basically flexi discs, if you ever heard of those. They're just flexible discs that were embossed directly onto the back of the box. I think I got most of mine from, like, post super sugar crisp boxes i was big on that cereal because any cereal that has the word sugar actually in the title i was all about that <laughs> so um that's where I, I remember getting a lot of of mine from i recall seeing um artists like and, and some of you may have never heard of these people bobby sherman um i think the monkeys were on some the jackson five which i'm sure just about everyone's heard of and probably the best group Ever. The Archies. <laughs> Let's see if I get this right. There we go. Uh, the Archies. So, what, like I said, these were just, if you flip the box over and look at the back, these were actually on the back of the box, which is really kind of genius. So, what I would do is I would go through the store picking out my favorite um, song. And I'd get home, and before the box of cereal was gone, I'd already be pulling the cereal out and cutting the record out uh, from the back of the box. There was also a little spot, and I believe it was a punch out to where you could punch out this the center hole for the record. But the bad thing was, if it was a little off, the 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 cutout wouldn't be. Uh, centered perfectly and the spindle would be a little off centered so the record would kind of play like this and you get that wow 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 sound to it um, so this was one of mine from the Archies I also had well here's this one and this one is the Archies also but as you can see it's got a little different design to it and what's was kind of fun about these if you look here it lists four different songs and I don't know if you can see, but right there, there's a stamp in the record with a number. And that number here is three, which meant that this song was Jingle Jangle. So if you know the Archies, you would know the song Jingle Jangle because that was a pretty popular one. So these, and I'm sure you can understand being young and if you enjoyed music, these were really a lot of fun. The only other one I still have, and I know I had more of these, but I just can't find them, was Bobby Sherman. Even being a dude, I really enjoyed listening to Bobby Sherman, even though his songs were kind of sappy. And this song was Easy Come, Easy Go. So um, I think that might have been one of his bigger hits. So these were a lot of fun. And if you have any stories of these records, please let me know, because I always like hearing about other people that kind of went through the same phase as I did with their, their music and their cardboard records. I do remember if you stuck these in a record box, if it wasn't wedged firmly, they would like bend, and then you'd be like bending them the opposite way, trying to get them to play properly. Um, they sounded fine, but like I said, the biggest issue was just trying to get them centered so that they would play fine. All right, so that's it, cardboard records. I hope you enjoyed that. So if you like this uh, video that I put out, if you wanna see more, again, please subscribe to my channel. 
And in, under the playlist, I'll have all my Cabinet of Curiosities uh, segments separated from my reaction videos that I do. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Peace out. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.